This is my time to shine. I am a sassy lawyer in the big city now, and I finally have the ability to help those in need with my sassy lawyering skills. <sighs> I just hope that this practice is a good one and that I'll be able to benefit everyone here. <sighs> okay, I'll be able to do this. I just gotta keep my confidence and remember my signature hair flip. I... Uh, hello? Hello? Is somebody in here? I... Uh, hello? How are you today? Are you a client of mine that is going to be a client? Oh, good, good morning, Afmal. Um, oh wait, no, you're the new secretary. It says right there in your name, that's right. It, indeed, I am. I, I am a huge fan of your work, Miss Afmal. I, what, what? How, how can you be a huge fan of my work, darling? I, it's, 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 it's my first day in the offices. Well, you see, I'm going to be a sophomore in YouTube University Law School College when the semester starts off this fall. I went to YouTube University Law School College! I, I know you did. I was a freshman when you were a senior, and I was always a fan of your sassy lawyer skills. I don't think I'll ever have the presence to earn my sassy lawyer degree. We, you, you don't have to major in sassy lawyering. You can major in, in regular lawyering or, or, or shy lawyering or, or any kind of lawyer that you want to be. You gotta be you. But, but you don't understand. It's been my dream to have the sass to stand up to those who do wrong to others in a court of law. The very idea that I can confidently help someone with my degree is a dream come true. I... You... What is your name, actually? Oh... I'm so sorry, Senpai. My name is Jenna. <laughs> Jenna, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> You're just as cool as when you gave your valedictorian speech. Hisashi, how dare you bust into my office after my signature hair flip? Do you know how often that happens? Only whenever I feel super sassy. Ah, oh, Jesus. Jenna, shouldn't you be going over some of the daily agenda with Miss Afmau instead of fangirling? Uh, 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 oh yes. My apologies, Miss Afmau. I'll be excusing myself now. Uh, okay. It was nice to meet you, Jenna. Well, she seemed like a really nice girl. You've only been in our offices for less than a day, and already you're causing a lot of production downtime. If you're going to be a great sassy lawyer, then you're going to find then you're going to need to find a way to become more productive. Now, I assume you've accepted the case that was presented to you? Uh... Uh... I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> I figured. Miss Jenna was supposed to disclose to you what you have your very... F wait, what? Miss Jenna was supposed to disclose to you that you have your very first case request? This is why we shouldn't waste our time talking to... talking about our college years? Well, maybe this firm would actually win a case if you did. I see your degree in sassy lawyering isn't just for show. <laughs> yes, and your degree in stating the obvious isn't doing any help here either. Now, can you please give me the case? Ouch, enough. I understand that you're a sassy lawyer, but at this firm, as your boss, I would expect you not to use your skills on me. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. Now, the case. The client is waiting patiently downstairs for you. I was going to have Jenna send up the client, but this case, this is a case in copyright, and I want to make sure you are okay with taking it on as your first one. This would be a good way for you to prove your skills at this firm. Plus, if you win it, it will be the first case this firm has won in a while. Hmm. If I win it, you say. Well... To be honest, I probably just won your respect with that college argument, so I'm pretty sure I could take this on. Touché. Now the person downstairs is Sepony Mayo's publishing representative. Why does that name sound so familiar? Sepony Mayo. Why does that name sound- Yeah, why does that name sound just so familiar? She's the author of the up-and-coming best-selling book series, Midnight, Midnight 2, Sprinkles of Hotness, and soon-to-be-released Midnight 3, Forbidden Love. Oh my god, I love that book! I'm a huge fan of that book series myself, so I am honored to take on this, uh, 
yes, most people in this world do. I'm not a big fan of cheesy romance novels myself. In any case, this is a great way for us to get our name out there. Are you comfortable taking this case on? <laughs> Without a doubt, Hisashi, I'm actually ready for this. Good. I will send the representative in. Good luck. Good evening. Uh, if you want to take a seat, you may. Or if you want to stand directly in front of me, I completely understand. I know it's very intimidating to meet a sassy lawyer such as myself. As you can see, I have my um, YouTube University Law School college degree over there. And I'm very much qualified to take on whatever case it is that you have in copyright. So, um, if you would like to begin. Uh, hello, Miss Afmao. It's a pleasure to meet you. Why do you... Yeah, I'm actually really curious because when you walked in, I noticed behind your back you had like a cookie on there. Do you mind if I ask you why you had a cookie on your shirt? Oh, um, well, I suppose that is something that stands out very much. So let me explain who I am in the situation. I am the daughter of the world-renowned Cookie Monster. However, unlike my father, who has an addiction problem, I decided not to take over the family business of selling, making, and eating cookies. I wanted a more fulfilling career. I beg your pardon, but if you don't mind me saying, cookies are pretty fulfilling in themselves. They'll make you fat. They'll, they'll make you very fat, yeah. But you, you, they're. Yes, let's go with the pun. Ahaha. <laughs> Please tell me I don't have to pay extra for the puns. <laughs> as long as you pay me extra for your lack of humor. Ooh, you're good at this sassy lawyer thing. Ahem, <clears throat> we're getting off topic. I ended up going into the world of publishing and am known for publishing great works such as Midnight, Harry Potato, The Hungry Games, Fifty Colors of Sprinkles, The Fault in Our Pizza, and many more. Now recently, this other author, Stephanie Mayer, has sent her publisher who brought a copyright claim to my office that states Midnight is a blatant ripoff of her Twilight. What? Okay, excuse me, but no, I... I happen to know of, of Twilight and I happen to have like skimmed through the pages a little bit and I've seen the movies obviously because it was there and I, I had nothing else to watch but 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 I'm going to make this very clear to you Miss Cookie if that is how you pronounce your name that I can say wholeheartedly that the characters in Midnight are very much Nutella Swan is a girl that has so much power and just incredibly just just uh, she's such a role model to younger women and i i don't even understand how you can compare her and uh, nutella swan to 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 bella so i don't i don't understand but it in short midnight is a novel that speaks to and for our generation right Ugh. so now we're set to go to court tomorrow and i could not find a lawyer sassy enough to take on this case Everyone I've asked so far says I'm, we're going to lose. So what do you say? Do you think we have a case? <laughs> well... Of course, like I said, Nutella Swan is a genuine character of moral grace. I thank you for understanding. Now, let me give you more details on the situation. <sighs> okay, we're, if, it, if the case is- okay, if the case is tomorrow, Honestly, yes, we're going to have to stay up all night and read the entire Twilight series. I don't- we're gonna need, like, a lot of coffee. We're- we're gonna need a lot to go off on this case, but I- I'm pretty sure that Miss Cookie, Miss Publisher Cookie, that we're going to win. But we need to read and just do a lot of studying, and I'll probably be really tired in court tomorrow, so we need to do this. Glad to know you're on my side. Most regular lawyers just laugh in my face when I bring a serious issue to light. I knew deep in my heart I needed a sassy lawyer. Now, court case is tomorrow. Let's get started. We can do just that. Let's get started with the sassiness. They got logical thinking, lawyer John! <sighs> okay, alright. Perfectly fine. Sassy lawyer Afmao can take this on. 
Don't worry, Kuki, I swear, I've been reading illegally downloaded copies of Twilight for this legal case, and I'm pretty sure that I can win this. So, um, we just have to wait, and again, Kuki, I... Don't worry, I'm pretty sure I, can, I got this. So, alright, I just wanted to finish- sorry, sorry, I was just finishing up the last book. I, I'm actually really lost here. I, I don't see how this is connected to Midnight at all. But, um, alright, so we just gotta- yeah, no. Court is now in session. The case of Twilight versus Midnight will now begin. Will the plaintiff's attorney please state your claim? Yes, logical thinking lawyer. Why don't you go state your claim? All right, I really want to hear what this guy's got to say. Uh, yes, your honor. My client has brought it to light that Midnight is a blatant ripoff of Twilight, a successful book franchise. A book that stole the hearts of young teenage girls all over the world. The characters are incredibly relatable. The story between the two main characters is something that resonates with our generation. It's very understandable why imitators would pop up and want to wreak the benefits of success of the success of my client's book. However, no imitator goes as far as Midnight does. This book actually takes blatant ripoffs of the characters from the book. Your Honor, objection! Objection to that. I would like to say that uh, logical thinker lawyer John is out of uh, order right now because he is, first off, he, he, he's, he, he uh, is calling them ripoffs and he hurt my feelings. <gasps> Mr. John, I'm going to ask to ask you that you, I'm going to have to ask you that you refrain from calling her book waifu a ripoff. Are you kidding me? This is a court of law! I don't even understand what you just said. Quiet, Mr. John, or I'm going to hold you in contempt. Now, please, continue your prosecution. <laughs> yeah. Feelings matter. Ahem. As I was saying, the character in Midnight... The, the characters in Midnight have their own names based off the original names of the book Twilight. Only with a food-themed twist to the name. How can no one in this courtroom see this? I present to you our evidence. In Twilight, Edward Cullen is called Tedward Culinary, Bella Swan is called Nutella Swan, Jacob Black is called K-Cub Black Coffee. Can no one see this? With that, I rest my case. Good job, good job, logical thinker, Lawyer John. Okay, I got, I got this. Don't even worry about it, Cookie. Oh, I'm up next. Ahem, ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you because I am presenting the case of Twilight versus Midnight. Of course, I am the defendant for my client here, who is the publisher of the book Midnight. Now, there are many people who would say that Midnight. Is it like the people on this side over here? There's many people that would say Midnight is a complete ripoff of Twilight. And and for that I understand because of, of the fact that there's the word light in both of them. And there's also many people who would say that you can't judge a book by its cover. But you can judge a book by its cover because the cover says many things. It gives you the illusion of what the story's about. It also gives you the title of the book, which I have solid evidence, let me bring out my, my, my evidence here, if you would, Your Honor, of the definition of Twilight and Midnight. The definition of Twilight is the soft glowing light from the sky when the sun is below the horizon, caused by the refraction and scattering of the sun's rays from the atmosphere. While the, defini the definition, pardon me, of midnight is 12 o'clock at night. There is a complete difference between the two. Now, if I remember in my time zone, yes, yes, in my, in my time zone, don't give me that look. In my time zone, twilight should start around 7 p.m. Eastern, if that makes sense. Doesn't it? Right? That's when the sun starts setting, so that's when the refractions would happen. Well, midnight, if I do recall from the definition that I just quoted, starts at 12 o'clock. Now, these two things, if I, if I look at it and I do the math, and, and, and I didn't go to school for math, I went to school for sassy lawyering, as my degree shows. These two things, that's a five whole hours between midnight and seven o'clock. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the two cannot be related by any means logical. 
It, it just doesn't make any sense. How could you get these two confused? Yes, yes, I know that we're talking about the title of the book for now, and we're not actually talking about the contents of the book. But let's take a look at the characters. They are completely different in their own right. Nutella Swan, a promotion from the Nutella company for the, the, the peanut butter chocolate stuff. It, 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 my client here specializes in food-themed books, and that's exactly what I'm here to represent, is that if, if we can't make books, food, into characters that we like, I sometimes find myself sculpting Pikachu statues of the mashed potatoes. In, in, the mashed potatoes that I have. Well, is, that, is that a blatant ripoff? Is that, what you're is that what you're trying to say, logical thinking lawyer John? Huh? No, no, that it is not. It is not. And for that reason, for that reason, I also believe, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping ahead into a subject, but I also believe that, um, Midnight has touched many people. Many people in different ways. Midnight is also like a comedy book as well. Um, I happen to know, uh, and, and, and I can call them to the stand, I, I happen to know that a few people actually have laughed at this book when they should not have been laughing. However, in the book, sorry, I was about to say movie, Twilight, you cannot laugh. There's no laughing. There's no soul. However, in situations where you can laugh, Midnight has been laughed at. And with that, Your Honor, with all that evidence in place, and the fact that the characters in Midnight are completely relatable and Belt Nutella Swan is just uh, the best character ever, I rest my case. So, if that's, that's all I have to say. Oh. Court is now in a swift recess while I deliberate the evidence. Yes! Recess! Okay, the moment of truth. Oh, <sighs> okay, all right. Um, yes, all I have to do is just... What do you think of my presentation, Cookie? Your presentation was spot on. Let's just hope the judge thinks so, too. Oh, <sighs> this is my first case, and I know it's just a small claims case, but still, this is... This is... This is my first one. I... I, I went to YouTube University for this. I'm pretty sure that this evidence is solid. <gasps> I should have opened up with first for the conversation. Oh my gosh, if I... Oh my gosh, I just- Will he just announce the decision already? Ugh. Okay, alright. I really should have opened up with hashtag first in the beginning, I don't even know why I didn't do that- Okay. In the light of evidence presented, this court of law finds the defendant not guilty of any copyright cases, but- <laughs> Sassy hair flip. I knew I could do it, Cookie. <laughs> Another, <sighs> another life saved by sassy lawyering. Well, not life, but livelihood saved by sassy lawyering. What do you think, Jenna? Well, Miss Afmal, you're amazing. I really want to be a sassy lawyer like you. <laughs> well, Jenna, I could teach you, but I'll have to charge. <laughs> so sassy. <laughs> I knew that YouTube degree would help. Uh, oh, Hisashi. Um, what are you doing here? Good work, Miss Afmao. But congratulations, we'll have to wait. Uh, you, you know that you could have just taken that sentence to congratulate me. Uh, another case has come in. A serious one. A murder case. What? Wh why are you bringing this to me? Because the plaintiff's defen- The plaintiff's lawyer? Is your long-time lawyer rival. Oh, <gasps> no! He doesn't mean him.